Oh man, I was cleaning out a drawer. Not really cleaning out a drawer, I was looking for something. And uh, it was when I was looking, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I, was, <laughs> I ran across these things which were in the drawer. Um, and these are made by Mueller. So a big name and test leads and stuff. Um, they say 75K on them. 75K, that must be the part number. Mueller 75K. Now the interesting thing about these is that they look like little uh, alligator clips. You go, okay, or alligator clips. That's pretty boring. Um, but these are insulated from one side to the other. So you can connect one wire to this side and one wire to this side. And when you open them up, they're not contacting one another. So you can use them as a Kelvin contact. Uh, and so uh, when you clip them on like this, then the source and the sense are completely separate. Um, and so you have two wires back to your multimeter to do a four wire measurement. So I thought, wow, I didn't know I had these. Uh, and so I'm gonna make a cable. So it'll have a source and a sense, and then they'll run over here to source and sense on the two sides. And I'll use some, uh, I'll use some test wire that I've got. And yeah, let's build one up. I guess the first question is how long do I want to make it? And the farthest meter away, DVM, is up there. So let me kind of fake, fake this up here. I know it's off camera, just a second. Um, okay. That's about as far away as my meter will be. And I don't want these too long. So I say right about there, right about there. Okay. All right. So let's make four wires, four wires this length. And this will be great. I don't know if I've, I think I did. I think I did a video on, uh, yeah, I did. I did a video on four wire measurements, Kelvin, Kelvin, uh, source sense, remote sense. I don't know, a bunch of names for it. All right, I have four wires. So, uh, I'll strip these and tin them. Uh, these are kind of funny wires. So they needed to be they needed to be stripped and tinned, and there's a, a cotton sheath around them and everything. Anyway, let's get the uh, let's get the iron hot over here. All right, this is a case where I know I need flux. And I do have various types of fluxes. I do use them, believe it or not. Um, and so I've got this stuff. You can see that I use it. I mean, it's half empty. And uh, it's a paste flux. And it's good for this sort of thing. So I'm going to just jab the wire in there. And a big blob of flux will be on there. This is just a helping hand thing here. <laughs> okay, where's my solder? All right, so I just want to tin all of these, all of these wires. Oh, that's a lot of flux on that one. How's that?
Oh, this one came on. Came unwrapped. I have to do it again. Left my fingers here. And I know there's one more. Was I counting wrong? One, two, three. Where's four? One. Yeah, here it is. This one still looks like it, ha yeah, it has a little bit of that cotton. It's got a little wound cotton sheath around the wire. And that gets in the way of soldering big time. So you have to remove. I know you can't see that on camera because it's way too fine. There we go. What is going on here? Some ookie. Get that off. All right. So I think, I think uh, I will do this side first. Let's do this side. Let's find a screwdriver. Damn you. There we go. Thank. I think this will be sufficient to just bend it a bit. Be good. Nice brass screws, I could feel them machined very accurately. Nice to have quality stuff. I don't like the looks of that one. I'm gonna bend that little I'm gonna bend that little wire under there. That's better. Alright. So this will be good. All right. So we'll have to figure out, does it matter? Source and sense, does it, do I care? 
if I know which side is source and which side is sense. I don't think there's any way to tell. I could mark it, but I don't think it really matters. So I can always do it later if I don't if I don't like the way it is. I can just fix that up later. All right, I need to get the flux off of this wire. It's driving me sad. Let's see in here. Oh, there we go. Get some alcohol on it. And where'd my towel go? Right here. All right, that's better. All right. And it takes a special screwdriver to get in these things. All right, there we go. I have a full set. All right, so let's give it a try. Uh, we'll just do it with this one here. Turn the Keith Lee on. Okay, when you do four wire measurements, uh, this is the source. And this is the sense, okay? And so we're gonna measure four wires. There's a button here called four wires and it says, does it say four wires anywhere? Two wires, four wires. It says right there, four W, four W. All right, so if I just clip these together, all right. So let's find a resistor, this is a 50 ohm resistor and we'll clip it on one side, clip it on the other side. And we are making a terrible measurement. Why isn't it working? What's going on? Do I know? Oh. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> that's stupid. Were you yelling at the camera? No, pause the video here and tell me what I did wrong without looking. <laughs> uh, I know what I did wrong. Um, so right now I have one clip for that banana and one clip for that banana. That's not what I want. I want one clip for these two and one clip for these two. <laughs> yes. So I will remove one of these. All right. So, I have removed one wire on one side, and we'll need to figure out which is which. So we'll use this meter as a continuity checker. <laughs> there you go. Nice to have two meters side by side. Okay. So this one is the top. Okay, so this is sense. All right, sense. Now we're going to need this sense. So I'm just going to hang that guy there. And I'll try to figure out which one of these is sense. That one. Okay, so I'll remove the bottom, which is not sense. All right. All right, let's make sure we've got, I'm doing this right now. 
Okay. Right now, sense is going to. Oops. My probe fell off. Sense is going to here. Okay. And this one, I want to have this one. What? Oh. What? Did I do this backwards? Boy, I'm really failing here. I am really failing. Uh, really? <laughs> I did it backwards again. How did I do that? All right, here are my two sense wires then. There's a sense. No, I didn't do it backwards. Good. I'm not an idiot after all. Okay, good. All right, so these have to be attached together. All right. Gosh. It's kind of hot in the garage. Maybe that's it. I'll blame it on the heat. I'll blame it on the heat. Oh, was it just out barbecuing earlier? I made, uh, made fajit fajitas. They were okay. They weren't great. They were okay. All right, let's try to hook these up the right way. These should be two senses now. Or two pluses, I should say. The plus sense and the plus force, that's here. And now the other wire, let's get it under this, okay. And it goes over to this one. And we will hook these up. I believe we should have better. Should be better. All right. All right, so now we have the ability to do a four wire measurement. Yay, maybe we're lucky. <laughs> All right, so here is our thing. Clip on one side, we'll clip on the other side, and da, 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 da. Oh, gosh. my clip fell off. Ah! Clip, 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 clip. Perfect, right there. 50.05. So, what that does is it takes out any um, resistance in your test leads because you're having a sense right next to it. So, yeah, 50.05. In fact, you could even slide up the, uh, get even super, super close. Ah, super close to the resistor itself. Do we see anything? That's 50.054. At the end, it's 50.05. Yeah, 50.05. And a little bit, let's put it on the end of this one. Can you see that? 50.058. See? It went from 50.058 to 50.054 just by going from here to here. So, Anyway, much better. So now I have some cool test leads that I never had before. So I like it. I think I think I'll do my cable lacing. I'll put some put some nice cable lacing on this. All right, there we go. Pull these out. Uh, let's look down here and get better to focus. So I have the. Uh, these here, they have a lacing. Can you see the lacing? Nothing's focusing. That gets tied onto those guys. We have lacing, 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 down to uh, termination lacing. And then we have the clip leads at the other end. So yeah, there we go. Very old school, very nice. I like it.